So this is a passage from the Rastarangini where two women are comparing notes on how many compliments they receive from their men. And the first one is like, oh, my guy thinks I'm the most beautiful woman he's ever seen. He says, my eyes are the most beautiful. My lips are the softest. My neck is the most perfect. Does your man give you as many compliments? And the other one says, oh, how lucky you women are whose lovers praise you so much. Your mouth, your lips, how you walk, how you laugh. My lover? My lover has never seen or thought of or even dreamt of another woman. Who is he to compare me with? You know what? Great response. I love it. I love the self-confidence that goes with it. But it also gets me thinking that we as women have always been taught to compete with each other. We've never been taught how to stand up for each other. But what's worse, we compete over the men. We grade ourselves according to how our men treat us. And that becomes like our status. And you know exactly what I mean. The woman whose husband or boyfriend supports her or stands up for her, we treat her with more respect. And the woman who has to stand up for herself, instead of seeing her as stronger, as worthier, we give her less respect. You know, as women, we have such an incredible capacity for loyalty that if we were to stand together, we would be undefeatable. And I guess maybe that's why we've been taught to compete with each other, because otherwise we'd just be too powerful. It's time to change the story. Next time you want to get competitive with another woman, especially over a man, hold out your hand to her instead. Think of how much more in the long run her friendship will mean to you, because we all know exactly how important women are in our lives. Make the change. Because, frankly, you're the only one who can.